and testing a couple of things. Let's see what happens. Start test on this. Yep, there it goes. So hopefully, let me check out all the, uh, this is my video. Yep, boom. And that's live. And uh, let's see how that. And let's check out YouTube. Make sure we are live on YouTube. I'll probably be running solo tonight. I wish I, you know, I need to do more. I need to do more research than the days that I'm going solo. What's up, Air? Uh, <laughs> What's up, Aaron? How you doing, man? It's just uh, checking in, you know, just talking about how I'm probably going to be doing rocking solo tonight. And uh, Trusty said he's not feeling well. And we'll see who pops in. <clears throat> nice like this, I really should consider just going on uh, DLive. That way I can play music for you guys. But then again, all my YouTube speak wouldn't be able to go watch. That wouldn't be good. I don't know. It's so difficult. <laughs> I'm the I'm. I got the computer reading the 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 messages in my ear, but yeah, we nerdy like always. That's not a bad thing to be. Sorry to hear you, Dragon Trusty man. I hope you feel better. We are gonna keep you in prayers. Um, and you hope you have a speedy recovery. One thing that I will say that working from home, I don't get sick as much as I used to. Just pretty cool. You know, this is pretty cool. Hey, so have y'all seen, uh, the Indiegogo for uh, well, the Sylvester Stallone one, the Expendables going going to hell. <laughs> Have you seen that 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 uh, project? Oh my goodness, that is a nice looking project for all two of y'all that are here. <laughs> Yeah, for those of you that are that are out there. You know, so if y'all checked it out. Now if y'all checked it out, let me know what you think about that. That expendables one. It looks good. It looks really good. I saw it the other day. I was like, whoa. It's actually written by Sylvester Stallone. It's pretty, that's pretty dope. I was like, man. So instead of making a. Yeah, right? They're good. They're really good. Uh, and the project looks amazing. You know? The project looks amazing. <clears throat> I was like, wow. We'll see, though. We'll see if this is going to be one of those. <laughs> you got to wait two years to get it. Or if they're going to, you know, come right on out and get it done. The art that I've seen thus far on the project looks amazing. I mean, really, really amazing. You know what I mean? It's really good, it's really good. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Uh oh, somebody popped in in the stream yard. Hold on, let me switch tabs and uh, boom. Hey, it's Josh Chris Art. 
good God, I barely even got in. You were like, he's already here. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, I, it, I get a, like a, a doop in the a notification sound, even though I'm not looking at it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, because trying to, you know, trying to draw and whatnot. You know, you're good. I just like I literally had just like pressed the enter and I heard you <laughs> going, and he's in the stream. I'm like, I'm dang, I'm barely here. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get OBS to turn on. It was all like it's already running. I'm like, no, it's not. Quit. Quit. Quit it. Stop lying to me. Exactly. So I'm trying to get Photoshop going. Yeah, I see. I know. I take your time, brother, man. You know, just it's just you and I. Just you and I. It's all right. You know. So we've been doing a lot of work behind the scenes that we haven't uh been streaming even though i didn't hop on with you guys last thursday i was still doing work all weekend long oh no yep so i will show you we find we we, we didn't even have this guy anywhere close to being done and he's done we got, this guy, hard. Done. got this guy done this this weekend uh thanks to my wife she was looking at it and going like there's something wrong with it and I kept messing with one of the eyes left, you know, just over and over and over. And she goes, I think it's the nose. We had to redo the nose and a whole bunch of stuff. But she she was digging the background right off the bat. And then yeah. we fixed this guy's background. But the major accomplishment is that we got this poster is all the way done. Nice. I mean, let me bigify you. <laughs> bigger for me <laughs> so people can see you know yeah, this, this guy is officially done that looks good I, man thanks man i had a different background i had a yellowish goldish one uh-huh and she was like i'm not digging that i want something else that pops so um i fit around with some purples and she goes that's it that's the purple i want put that on there i was like <laughs> all right so we got that purple and like i said uh we uh we uh, changed this guy's background to a bluish to make him pop out a little bit more. And then that way, since you got me biggish, I'll go ahead and showcase this guy again. This guy was a pain in the butt trying to trying to get the ink lines on the outside as smooth as I could get. Um, and I'm still not 100% liking some lines, but uh, I'm at the point going, you know what? I don't want to touch it. I don't want to break it. <laughs> I'm right. getting too picky and just screw it up and in a sense have to redraw it all. Uh, she's right. Purple makes us, but yeah, you see, I, well, I did the yellow gold because I was looking at um, the more traditional posters that the actual guys make for that series. And they use a lot of gold background, even though a lot of their characters have blonde hair, especially the, you know, all might and a few others. And um, yeah, but she was like, I want something else. that's just going to make them pop out. So I was, I was really afraid of putting the purple just because whenever I drew the picture on pencil, I did my best to try and split the page right in half with a line. And, but whenever I scanned it and started inking it, unfortunately, that didn't like go over very well. So there's a few spots where it's not straight. And I try my best to try and fix it or hide it or, you know, I'm like, oh, there's just a slight angle here. You may not notice it unless you're like digging right in with like a you know, magnifying glass. But um, I was afraid the purple would make it kind of stand out a little more. But luckily, she didn't notice. So if she didn't notice, ain't no one else going to notice because she's <laughs> <no picky. laughs> Right. <laughs> so, but, uh, but now we're going to this guy. For this team, right. team rocket. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Right when Ryan you said <laughs> about purple, and uh, yep, Trusty said beautiful work, Josh. And uh, hey, Marania, how you doing? Welcome, welcome to the pen. You know, it's just it's just Josh and I tonight. Uh, Josh Chris Art, aka the Copic Kid. Although he's digital, so I guess he's the Photoshop Kid today. Yeah, I have you know, I just the camera. I'm, I'm not thrilled with the way Copics look on stream. I don't know if it's my lighting. I don't know if it's my quality of the camera. I don't know, but you guys are not getting the full effect of what Copics should look like in person whenever I put that up there. No, it's true, though. You're right. Uh, Copics do look like the stuff that you sent me. Yeah. 
it looks way yeah taking a picture with the phone in the right light makes them pop out so whenever i post stuff on instagram or twitter or facebook the pictures the, the colors look like they're supposed to look like it in person mm -hmm. and copics look amazing yeah well you've got two of my pieces yeah. and the copics just just pop right out and whenever i show you guys on stream it just pisses me off to no end that that's not how it's supposed to look and so i i, I just i don't i don't know if i'm going to go back to, to live streaming live art i don't know unless i can the next con just gives me a, a buttload of money and I can upgrade the computer and the, the camera to better quality or get some type of digital lighting type stuff that to help me out. Cause I don't know in this room or I'm in the living room, it's kind of a warm light a warm yellow light. And I, that may be affecting it as well. I don't know, but I had, you know, led lights over top of me when I was doing this and it's still, you know, it didn't look right. I'd be in here in total darkness with just those and it still wouldn't look right on camera. I hear you. Well, Wapo has joined us and I don't know why something always happens and the piece just starts erasing on its own. It's, I can't move the mouse. I can't hit escape. I don't know what the hell is going on. <laughs> look, I'm trying to move the mouse so I can get it out of the thing and all it's doing is erasing all the work. All I see is El Guapo stuff. I can't see what you're doing. Oh, uh, yeah. Control C. Oh, there we go. Okay, that thing is getting annoying. Now that we got people in the chat, I'm going to turn off the, the bot reading stuff to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And Wapple's in the house. Can he hear us? El guapo, el guapo. Oh, I got to add him. Hold on. Okay. There we go. Okay. There we go. Now everybody's in the house. <laughs> What's up, el guapo? Hey, man. How are you guys doing? Doing man, good, man. You know, chilling, man, you know. Nice. Just doing, doing, doing what we do. Uh... When I'm not losing my mind with this program, doing whatever the heck he wants to do. <laughs> hey man, Streamyard, right? Uh, no, talk, yeah, no, I'm talking about the uh, the um, what you call it? Oh, Clip Studio. Yeah, Streamyard is fine. You know, sometimes it's easy to use, but yeah. like on on slow start days, I really would rather use Hangouts just because I don't know who's coming and if they're coming. I could just always kind of play some kind of background music. But it is what it is. Hey, Cross Comics in the house, uh, last minute promoting the Canadian Shield. What's, up, what's going on, Rick? What's up, Rick? Throwing his link up. Yeah, I'll check it out. I was actually talking about that uh, Chuck Dixon, uh, The Expendables, man. Yeah, that's a pretty good get. I was like, whoa, the art looks amazing. Yeah. The book is actually written by Sylvester Stallone. So what the, what? He wrote one of the stories, right? Yeah. Because Chuck Dixon, I thought, was doing. Well, I think there's three stories in it, three chapters. Yeah. And I think they're all written by different people from what I yeah. saw on the Indiegogo. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. I didn't go too deep. I saw the artwork and I saw, you know, the slide was involved and I was like, it's, it's a done deal. Yeah. I don't, no, nothing else needs to be said. Yep. I'm getting it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's, yep. that's all, that's all yeah, the worst. I got to fund that, um, this week. That's um, all I got to say about that. Yeah. Yeah, there's so much stuff out there, man. I wish I could I wish I could back everything, you know. But I just basically I've come to the thing if I'm gonna back a project, I gotta back something that I like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, something that makes sense to you. You just you just can't back everything as much as you would like to. Mm -mm. It makes no sense. Yeah. But I'm definitely backing that one. You know, speaking of uh of that stuff. I I think uh, Red Ten has started shipping. Uh, yeah. 
All right. I'm can't just wait. Ship, it, ship it on already, so. I can't. You know, it's for some reason, my mail is slow. <laughs> so people <laughs> will get it, and I'll eventually get it, you know? Yeah, no, I hear you, man. I hear you. Um, Unless you send it directly. The stuff you sent direct always got here, like, nickety split. Yeah. Um, But, like, stuff from Kickstarter and Indiegogo, I don't know why. It just takes forever. Like, I finally got the frog book. <laughs> finally. Finally, right? I hear you, man. Hey, look. So, <laughs> so you know how everybody was talking about the fluting and, and all that stuff? Yeah. My book took so long, all that stuff was almost pressed flat. That's how long my book <laughs> took. <to get> here. <laughs> like, it, there was fluting, right? But it wasn't as noticeable. At, at one point. <laughs> yeah. That thing was, it, it took so long to get here, and it was packaged so tightly that I think it pressed itself out. Uh, <laughs> I was like, uh, and by the time I started reading the story, I didn't even notice it. I didn't even notice the fluting in the pages once I started reading the story. But it is what it is on that. Skew 3D in the house saying, uh, how you doing, my 2D people? Hey, what's going on, Skew View? Welcome to the stream. You know, we're hanging out. Josh Chris Art, a.k.a. the Copic Kid, a.k.a. the Photoshop Kid, a.k.a. the Manga Drawing Fiend. We got El Guapo Comics, a.k.a. my twin brother with more gray hair. You know, we got all, all yeah. kinds of people going on. Great. Actually, not all kinds. We got Cross Comics in the chat. Eric Galenian. And, of course, our prayers to Mr. Trusty Sidekick, who uh, apparently is Corona. No, I'm just kidding. He's not Corona. No. He's just feeling bad. Yeah. He's not feeling he, too well. He likes being on the show, too. Yeah, he, he enjoys all these streams, man. He's a good guy. I like him. You know, um, hopefully I can make it through the whole stream tonight. And nothing is guaranteed from this point forward. Yeah, no, I hear you. So she's uh, right there, huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's exciting. It's very, very exciting. Very, very exciting. You know, you know. Like, is she feeling anything yet? Not really. You know? But, uh, I mean, slight, you know, but nothing like, nothing, nothing to make you excited about, you know, jumping in the car, doing yeah. 120 to the hospital, anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> Get pulled over, tell the cops what's going on. That's it, like, you know, all that good stuff. But no, I mean, just chilling, man. Is she at, is she staying at home or is she still going to work? She's still going to work. Jeez. Hard head, make for a soft tail. I'd figure they give her. I'd figure they make her go on bed rest. Nope. Believe it or not. No, no. She's good, strong. Good. You know, her team oh, wants when's her next doctor's appointment? <laughs> the, uh, tomorrow, the day after, the day after, the day after. I was, I was like, are you guys <laughs> every day? You know, <laughs> yeah, pretty, you know much. I mean? pretty much. We're just making sure, you know, it's like, well, we're not going in until Friday, man. You might want to go every day. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, she, she, uh, yeah, they, it's every day from here on out. It, it's every day. You know, they just they're just making sure she's good to go. Uh, man, I don't I don't blame them and I don't blame her and I don't blame you. Get as many times you can get in, go get seen. You know, rent a rent a bed there and just be like, look, we're not going anywhere for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can we check at six o'clock tonight? <laughs> right. Yeah, but everything's good, man, you know. Um been extremely healthy and uh, can't complain, dude. Like compared to the first experience, this this is a cakewalk. Right. You know, so not mad, man. Being from PA, wow! I have not seen being from PA running around here in a long time. I'm feeling, I'm feeling some kind of way. I'm feeling, I'm feeling some kind of way. We're doing well, being from PA. How are you doing this evening? Yeah, 
It's a good and it's good. My wife is a Kansas City Chiefs fan, and the Kansas City Chiefs won the Super Bowl. She's super excited. You know, she's just she's just hitting a home run in 2020 already. I had to ask my coworkers who won. <laughs> yeah. It was it was actually a pretty good game up till the fourth quarter, then the Chiefs kind of blew it open. Yeah. San Francisco just doesn't have that. Go ahead. I was rooting for the 49ers, but that's all right. San Francisco usually does not have um they're not built to come from behind. And no. because they're a running they're a running team. Yeah. So I didn't think they was gonna they were gonna be I mean they did good all the way up to like halfway to the fourth quarter and then when they stopped running it, so I was like, dude. Why'd you stop running? You gotta go with what got you there, you know. Yeah, but no, it wasn't gonna happen. Uh being oh, she's just sleeping. I know, I know you're on the east coast. I I, I just you know, it's just good to see you, that's all. It's just good to see you. It's good to see you, you know. Uh good old Bean from PA. She's a great, great supporter of the independent creators. So Whenever we can get her on to be around, man, you know, we're happy to have her here. Can't get mad at her. Yeah, man. So, that, so you know, 2020 is pretty good. Pretty good so far. I mean, it should be, right? It's only, it's only been a couple of months, right? right. <laughs> we're only into the second month. It better not be crappy for anybody yet. Shoot. Know, right? That means you didn't do things right in 2019. Right. You know? That's oh. not good. But yeah, no, nah, it's it's beautiful, man. Can't complain, can't complain. You know, and uh like I said, get and I get to hang out, you know. I, I did I did the triple ass, like you sure it's okay for me to stream? Are you are you good? Are you sure it's okay? She's like thumbs up. I like all right, all right. You know, so you sure you're feeling fine. If I abruptly cut you guys off, that means I have we to. Know. We got to. <laughs> yeah. we, we understand. We'll just be like, bye, Jimmy. Yeah, but I, I doubt it. But, you know, I'm just giving you a fair warning because I don't I don't know. But she's, you know, things are beautiful. Man. <laughs> so, you know, I'm ordering some last minute stuff, you know, um, you know, little little knickknacks and, um, and stuff. So I didn't know they had like these little covers for the um, for the baby seats, right? They're like a like a blanket, but that you don't put that covers the baby seat, so yeah. cold air doesn't get on top. I don't know how to call it, but I just call it a baby seat cover. Um, I didn't know they had those, right? I, I saw I saw, um, I saw one of the people that was in the class with us that had one on their on their car on their um, travel system thing, right? Yeah. And I was like, where did you get that? <laughs> so I was ordering some last minute stuff. Like, I was like, that's cool, you know? Yeah. Say, saying that, you know, it's winter time over here. Well, it's winter time everywhere, right? But it's like really cold over here. So this is pretty cold everywhere, except for Florida. I know. Yeah. I mean, it's winter time here, man. It was like 65 degrees this morning. Wow. I think really? I. No, sixty-five degrees is cold to me too, bro. <laughs> I don't, know. don't let, don't let me, don't let. It's just that it's not that warm over here. <laughs> so yeah, man. But everything's cold, man. I'm just ready to, uh, you know, ready to meet the the new addition. That's all. Yeah, that's exciting. I'm, I'm really excited about that. But yeah, man. That's it, man. That's that and dad had a good, you know, pretty good weekend. Chill weekend. You know, and uh that's it. Pretty hectic day of work today, but it yeah. it calmed down. Yeah, I had a I had a scary day yesterday. I got up out of bed. Uh-huh. And, uh, 
I couldn't stand up straight. I kept leaning left, like walking left. I, like I couldn't get my equilibrium. Right. And then I had like a nasty headache all day. And uh, my wife's freaking out. And I'm, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. She kept telling me to go to the hospital. I didn't right. go. But I did make an appointment to go to the doctor. So what I you, you know, so stubborn. Yeah. I was going to say, I know you didn't get away with not going to the doctor. Yeah, well, I know. I got an appointment on Wednesday. <laughs> so I get myself checked out. But, you know, I guess uh, getting a little older, things start happening. Oh, you don't have to tell me. I'm right there with you, man. So uh, I'm right there with you. Things happen. Crazy things happen. Miranda says, these days, 60 degrees feels warm here. I'm telling you, man, 60, 65 degrees is, you know, it, it's a matter of perspective. But, man, it's I mean, cold. for me, 65 degrees is still cold. I still get goosebumps at 65 degrees. But because it's much colder than that over here, I just kind of, you know, perspective it out saying, yeah, that's that's not cold. But it's cold to me, too. I ain't going to lie. 65 degrees, I'm wearing a sweater. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm walking around like Bill Cosby and Mr. Rogers. I ain't ashamed to admit it. <laughs> right. Ain't no shame in my game. Mm -mm. You ain't gonna catch me with the flu. Uh uh. That is not happening. Let's see. Everything is good. Everything is good. Yeah, man. But. Oh yeah, of course, and I'm dro <coughs> been dropping the link for uh, automatically on my chat for Niobe, number mm -hmm. two Kickstarter for those of you that might be interested in backing our friend. So, yeah, I'm I'm multitasking. <laughs> yeah, man. So that was crazy, right? I kind of, I kind of, uh, because because uh, my wife likes the cheese. I was kind of rooting for the cheese. In part because I actually didn't want San Francisco to get a six Super Bowl ring. I know petty, but <laughs> <laughs> I know it's petty. It's petty, but you know you got it's the so Patriots and you got the Pittsburgh with six and Dallas with five, and we can't have another team getting six. Nope, yeah, nope, nope. We got to be the next team to get six if we ever figure our lives out. Who is this again? The Cowboys. Because you know San Francisco has got five. Pittsburgh and New yeah. England got six. Right? So Dallas and San Francisco got five. You guys so going to keep Dak? Uh-huh. You guys keeping Dak or what? Who knows, man? I guess he's going to try to franchise tag him. I, I don't know, to be honest with you, what's going on on that front. Uh, if we don't. We don't look like we've got another quarterback on tap unless Tom Brady comes to Dallas. Right. Know. Hmm? Right. I was thinking, like, if he doesn't sign with the Patriots, you know, Dak Prescott, just switch quarterback. That Dak Prescott goes to the Cowboys, I mean, to the, the Patriots, and you guys can get Brady for a couple of years and see if you guys can win something. Well, our offensive line is better than New England's, that's for sure. Yep. So that will keep that will give him a little bit. And oh, yeah. uh, Risco the de Dema, twenty buyer, <laughs> says, "Hey, how are things going? I have seen your Jerrigan fifty one channel here on Twitch. Thanks, brother. I appreciate that. Your streams get better every time. The digital bullpen episode sixty eight. Keep it up. I'm about the custom overlay for your channel. I'm about to do a custom. Oh, thanks, brother. Appreciate that." Uh, Pats are my team, says Ara. Yeah, um, I know, I know, I know. I mean, I don't, I don't have nothing against them personally. They nothing that they haven't done to themselves, you know, the flake gate, spy gate, stuff. I like need that. To start, I need to start in trouble right now because <laughs> I don't get hypertension or anything going here. I told you that I had a dizzy spell. You're trying to get me all agitated, bringing up that stuff. <laughs> I understand that's really messed up. <laughs> You know, I I'm not I ain't gonna lie. It's pretty messed up. You trying to get me off, 
you know, heart palpitations going, but that's okay. I mean, you know, I mean I it's, it's not on purpose, man. I feel a little bit your hair is going right now. You know, you you are you are in a Florida guy. Why why are you not like a Jacksonville Jaguars fan or something like that? Ew. No, I ain't <laughs> done with that. <laughs> I'm Miami Dolphins, man. The Nike's uniforms in the NFL, so I ain't gonna lie about that. Oh, what about what about the Dolphins? Ew, never. You couldn't pay enough money. You know. Some things I. Yeah, I could never. Someone asked me that. I said, Are you kidding? Are you serious? No way. I don't know why they've been doing that to you, man. Why they be doing that to you, bro? That's, they're silly people. You know. I need to get this remaster and uh, like running into the thing where I start inking something. Mm -hmm. And because I haven't been like on it. Um, I have to keep going back and forth and seeing how I ink, how I re-inked some of the other pages, right? Um, in order to keep that consistent look, you know. And then I got to remember that I'm blowing these panels up. Look at how actually they, they're about going to be about that big. Yeah, I know. I got the blue. You know? <laughs> zoom. Like every time I start zooming in, you know, I got to remember a Caesar. This less is more. Just put in the the lines that you need for it to read, and then just leave it at that. You know. Yeah, because zooming in will get you in trouble. Yeah. You will put extra lines that that'll get washed out. Yeah, absolutely. You know, like yeah, absolutely, they'll get washed out. You know so. what I mean? I mean, you know, I don't have to tell you, twenty six year pro. The only flaw that I see is that you like the Patriots. But other than that, everybody has, you know, nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. Everyone's got a challenge that they have to overcome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would say, yeah, we had a bad year. Y'all didn't have a bad year. Y'all just, you know, it, it, it is what it is. It, no. Every dynasty comes to an end eventually. Yeah, and absolutely. I mean, other than the fact that Belichick threw this year for some reason. You know, the dynasty, every dynasty comes to an end. And I think it's time. And I think Belichick just wants Brady out, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think that's a lot of the reason, just the complete tankage. Because some of those coaching decisions he made this year were like, really, Bill? That's the decision you're making with that? I well, you know, I think I think he just wants he just I think he just wants Brady out. I think he's just like, look, I, I get it. You feel you can play some more, and I know Mr. Kraft ain't gonna ain't gonna throw you out, but like, could you just retire for my sake already? I'm throwing you out, bro. You know, I'll, I'll do it <laughs> by not signing you, because I think he would just like, fine, Mr. Kraft, I'm done. I don't know if, if Bob Kraft wants to lose him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, Mr. Kraft love Brady. Yeah, well, I don't think he wants to lose Belichick either, man. So another team could pick him up. Nah, I don't think so. I don't think Belichick is going anywhere. No, what I, that's what I'm trying to say. So he was kind of forcing the issue with Brady this year in a certain respect. So even if, because last time Brady wanted, um, Belichick wanted to get rid of Brady because he had Garoppolo. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, Robert, you know, Tom Brady and Robert Kraft basically got involved in that kind of forced Bill's hand. I don't think he want, he's going to let that happen again. So. Yeah. Oh, we'll see, you know. We'll see what happens. Can't be no worse than my saga in Dallas with Jerry Jones not wanting to let, you know, people do jobs. Yeah, right. That dude's, that dude's going to be the death of me, man. <laughs> that was so horrible. It's like, God, dog, it, Jerry, stay out of, stay out of it. Stay out of it, Jerry. Yeah. He can't help himself, man. Let people do what they do. I oh, get man. it, man. You you're a billionaire and you and you made it because of your own, you know, your own gut instincts. But uh oil and football, two different things, but yeah, I know, right? Two different things. You're killing me, man. Killing me, smalls. Yeah, man. So yeah, brother, but it's all good. It's all good. Oh man. 
old age, man. Rice Lee, dropping by to leave that EOT. It's like, man, thanks, Ricey, man. You didn't think you was going to drop in or nothing. I wasn't going to say anything, did you? Mr. Lee, Mr. Risey Lee. The man, the myth, the legend. The second part of the Aloha Dingo Hour. You know, glad everybody's finding their way over tonight. You know, we're kind of on chill mode. Uh, you know, trusty, uh, he's not feeling well, so he's not able to join us this evening. I know, I know, I know. Everybody loves trusty. I know, I know, I know. I know they got to deal with me. You know, um, we got, we got everybody love a Wapo too. And Wapo, and everybody love the, the, the Kobe kid. So, you know. He's better, more entertaining. He's got the Kopics going. Man. Dude, that dude is amazing. Some months. Dude is amazing with the Copics. Like, truly, truly, truly amazing. It's him. And then there's that other dude. What's his name? Uh, don't you compare me to him. What's his name? Uh, I'm not going to say it because I want you to compare me to the great. <laughs> you know who I'm about to say, don't you? I know who you're going to say. I, he's my favorite artist. You know, it's him and that other guy. That other guy. And, you know, that guy that works for Marvel. What's his name? Uh, yeah, Todd somebody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is it Todd Mock? Yeah, Todd, I love yeah. Todd Mock, man. That's your boy? Dude, I love Todd. I would, I would die if I got to meet him. I mean, that just absolutely... Uh, my... Me and my wife have been big fans of his. I mean, we've we've met a few other artists like Jerkmonger or whatever his name. What's his name? Elite Elite Fernandez. Fernandez, yeah. We met him in person and you know had a great time talking to him and everything. Great stories with him. But um Todd, I've never gotten the opportunity to meet. And we have always wanted a commission by him, but he has like a two year waiting time to get a commission. Unless you can catch him, catch him at a con, and, and if you're one of the lucky few to actually get uh, a spot while he's at con, so yeah. you know, and he's expensive, but you know, we've always said we we both love him, and we, you know, he's just an awesome guy to talk to. Whenever he does live streams, he'll talk to every person he can he can get to. And uh, yeah. you know, so my wife, she messaged him, and you know, she found out prices and stuff, but. Uh, he just didn't have time. So one day he posted a picture of a Colossus and she messaged saying, if the buyer backs out, I'm, I want to be next. I'll buy it. And she didn't tell me any of this. And uh, so he messaged her, said the buyer backed out. It's yours for this price. And I still don't know how much she paid for, but apparently it's the most expensive piece of artwork I've ever gotten. Damn. And, um, so she kept it and it was like a birthday present for me or something like that birthday or Christmas one, the two. And, uh, and she bought uh, a comic that was his Stan Lee X-Men number one tribute to Stan. Yeah. And, uh, and he signed it. He wrote a little personal note to me as well. And then she begged him to uh, just take the time to go like some of my artwork on Instagram. And I'm sitting there chilling one day, and all of a sudden it says, Todd Knock liked your picture. Todd Knock liked your picture. Todd Knock liked your picture. And I'm like, huh, huh. I'm like literally having a heart attack in front of her. And she's, you know, she's smiling because she knows, you know, what's going on. And, but, she, you know, she's going along with it. She's like, oh my gosh, it's awesome and everything. And I'm like, oh my God, Todd Knock has freaking liked my stuff like three times now. I was like, I, I, I don't know what to do. I just, you know, because I've had a few other people that, you know, just out of out of nowhere, you know, guys who worked on He-Man artwork, you know, comment on my stuff and, you know, comment on my line work and everything. And it's like, oh, my gosh, it's so awesome that you worked on these characters and here you are taking the time to look at my crap. Yeah. And uh, and so, yeah, she had she'd asked him and he did. He did it on two or three separate days. That way it wasn't just like he just did it right then. But then later on, he he, he did it a couple more days later. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so awesome. So yeah, then she presented the uh the the commission piece and I had seen it online. Uh and I, I had told her at one point, going, Oh my gosh, that's such an amazing colossus. And uh so yeah, I've been sitting right here here my my art table. The way every time I'm doing this stuff, I get to see his artwork. That's pretty cool. 
Yeah, man. He shared an elevator ride with him. We talked for a little while in uh, Boston Comic Con. Really yeah, I, he's he's. I'm, I go to cons that are just too small for him. I mean, I beg him all the time. They come to Kentucky, and you know, he's like, "Well, you know, you could tell whatever con to reach out to me, but I don't know if they can afford him." Yeah, you know, they they get a lot of. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, they're getting a lot of big names this year. This year, they've re really reached out with uh, old Hollywood celebrities and. I mean, hell, they got almost everyone from the Breakfast Club, Short Circuit. Uh, of course, there's always God dang Power Rangers coming. Um, Jason Dave Frank be there. Half the Power Rangers squad from every adaptation ever. Um, uh, a lot of Star Wars actors. Um, uh, shoot. They announced somebody else. Um, but yeah, the artist-wise, you know, they, he kind of has the same guys. And there's one that I won't go meet and I'm not going to mention his name, but uh, I've talked to him once or twice and he's just kind of a jerk. And I'm like, you know what? I didn't know you before con. So <laughs> yeah. you don't have to act that way. You know, yeah. your, stuff's good. your stuff's cool. I, you know, I'd love to have a conversation, but you don't have to be a jerk. Cause I would have spent money uh, uh, at your booth with no problem. Uh, but yeah, no, it's yeah, the, the Todd Knock man. It's just Todd Knock, and of course everyone, Jim Lee. You know, I'd love to meet Jim Lee, but Todd, uh, I, I'd I'd love to just have a sit down conversation with him one day. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Oh yeah, I'd freak out, man. Don't worry about it. All we have to do is give you cancer and make it a last wish. <laughs> there you go. I'm dying. My Instagram picture. It's like, hey, it was his last wish, Todd. That dude is 40. It's still, his last wish is a last wish, man. <laughs> Being jerk, Todd. Love me. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just playing, man. I don't wish that on nobody. I don't worry. It's a little dark today, bro. <laughs> it's his last days to be dark, man. For now on. I mean, you know, he's like, <laughs> You know, know they're trying to make me have a heart attack. He's wishing cancer on you just so you can meet Todd Talk. I mean, what the heck, man? It's all right. You know, don't judge me. I get it, man. You know, <laughs> you guys were talking about your weekend. I've slowly been starting to get back into the gym and, you know, get on, get back on the health kit, eating, eating better, eating healthier. And I went and did weights on Friday morning. And come Saturday night, I couldn't, I couldn't straighten my arms out. <laughs> I had, I had curled so much with biceps, and uh, yeah, Saturday night I was like, something is really wrong, especially my right arm. I cannot bend my arm straight out, so I had to like use like those, um, those wraps that you normally put on your foot or your wrist. I put it on my elbow just to keep my arm straight. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, something's wrong real bad. <laughs> it hurts. Yeah. Right, she says, Jim, yuck. What, Jim Lee? No, Jim, as in Jim, as in going to the gym. Oh, yeah, no. You know, we got kids, man. So, yeah, you start looking at, you know, health-wise and going, you know what? I want to be around for graduation i want to be around for grandkids i can't keep eating the same way i can't just keep putting weight on and just be like oh, i'll get off next year you know it, i gotta do something you know i'm five foot five foot eight 217 pounds i was 225 so, you know. so yeah i mean five foot eight and that big a weight and it's all in the stomach so it's like it's not like he's just all over it's all like you know oh he looks so okay no it's all in the the gut and yeah. it's like uh so doing a lot of cardio and then every now and then i'll throw in weights yeah grace says wait we're not immortal <laughs> <laughs> you know <laughs> no you think that way until you have kids and then you start really thinking about the kids and their future and you're like you know what I'd like to be around. It's like it's kind of sad to think that way. You're like, yeah, I'd like to make it to graduation. You know, I like no. to make it to grandkids, wedding, other stuff. Yeah, hopefully you will, brother. Hopefully you will. So, and the wife's on it too. So, 
you uh, know it's, it's not just a you know one person fight you know we're both uh helping each other out no nah, in my household is just a one person fight me <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's already in shape <laughs> i was gonna say she's probably already in shape for still being in the service yeah she's yeah. already in shape one way to get healthy, eat food as close to the source as possible. Do not eat diet foods. They have more chemicals that make them taste like normal foods. Yeah. Well, like I'll do like the Adkin shakes for because mm -hmm. I, I can't do Slim Fast. God, whatever Slim Fast is, I got to take a crap an hour later. I mean, it's just bad. It's the, the, they have too much milk in them. And uh, so I do the Adkins. And it, that'll stick me for, for breakfast and lunch. And at lunch, like, um, I watch calories mostly. So, like, I'll do, um, the, like, a 100-calorie popcorn. If I need, the, you know, a potato chip fix or a french fry fix, I'll just be like, all right, here's some popcorn. Just eat that. Right. And uh, it's, you know, a little bit better. Plus, you know, the prepackage, it's 100 calories. I know it is. You know, I can weigh it out if I want to. Um, and then, yeah, I may do one of those, like, uh, Adkin bars. If I just really like, usually before I go work out, I'll eat one of those bars that kind of hold me off until dinner. And then dinner, you know, we have we have a, a set what we do every every week. Like we do the same thing. So even the chicken, uh, like uh, baked chicken, and uh, like just straight up chicken tender or uh, chicken breast, and then uh, salad on the side. That's not bad. No, and then like you know, we'll do pork tenderloin. Uh, that that one's a little bit a little bit more, but it's it's a little bit healthier with with the way that's done. And then we'll do something else on the side. Well, we do a lot of salads on the side just to be a filler, and right. we, we do light dressings and that type of stuff. So we do a lot of fruits and a lot more vegetables. And then, uh, and then I've already told you my ninja food kick I do every Friday. Yeah. So, you know, that's all straight up fr from the deli or straight up vegetables that I cook. So, yeah. Yeah. I've been, I've been, I started back on my smoothie kick. You know, yeah, I, can, I can do the Atkins stuff. I can't do that slim fast. And for a while I was doing like GNC does stuff, but uh, they're so expensive. I was like, you know what? Yeah. I, I bet the same crap. So, oh, well. Yeah. Just every morning I just, uh, Lots of fruits, blender, smoothie, yeah. ice. <laughs> no, I, but I'll say too, you know, yeah, I, I, I was for a while, I was been like, oh, I'll eat these healthy, healthy, you know, whatever's uh, pre made dinners and crap. And I was like, man, they're so full of sodium. They're so full of everything else. Preservatives to keep them that way. I'm like, that's not really healthy. I'm not doing that. Yeah. I'll just watch the calorie intake with this stuff because I've done this before and gotten down to 190. So I know it works for me. Mm -hmm. So I've just got to get back in that mindset of just stay with it. Yeah. Oh, My thing is, is working out. You know, if I don't work out, I'm not going to see anything. I'm just going to maintain the same weight. Yeah, that's, that working out helps, man. Yeah. You know, Cesar is a workout king, man. You got a trainer and everything. Who does? Cesar. Oh really? <laughs> you got a trainer, everything. I actually do have a trainer. He actually, I said, dude, I've gotten off the train so bad, and because uh, uh, I'm like I'm like you, uh, I carry a little extra weight there, Josh. Um, yeah. And um, but I'm pretty solid from my bodybuilding days, and everything is right in my gut. Mm -hmm. and so that's that's the that's the one area. So I was supposed to do an eval with him, call him on Friday and, you know, go over and do an ev another eval with him. Um, and uh, just, he gives me a call and once he goes, hey, what happened? You never, you never called me, you never showed up for the eval. I was like, I know, I know. There's a lot of, a lot of things got in the way. Uh -huh. Either, uh -huh. We ain't doing this. <laughs> a lot of things got in the way. A table, a fork, a spoon, food. Yeah. Right. He, just he, trust me, he's scolding me. He said, "We gotta do this." I'm like, "Yeah, I know you're right." Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to drop a little bit of weight too, man. Two hundred is, is too much weight. Yeah, but it's crazy because 
you know, you look at this stupid BMI thing. Oh and my I, God. I was never in that BMI thing. Dude, you know? I could never be there. I, I could never be I'm there. Saying, right. I'm five, five, six, you know, and they're saying I need to be like 145 pounds. It's impossible. Um, that's like if you're a slight person. They don't take into account that some people have thicker muscle mass. Mm -hmm. you know? uh, but I know where my where if I got down to 185, yep, that's a good that's a good spot for me. 176 is a good weight for me. Yeah. Uh, you know your body, like you said, your body is different. You know, and and there's what you call the fighting weight, which yeah. which is the weight where your body performs the best. You know what I'm saying? And maybe 145 might not be good because you're just too small. You know, but yeah. like for me, when I was uh, 176, oh my lord, that was, and and I was in my I was in my late 30s too. I was smoking them young cats. Yes, yeah. smoking them boys like chip cigars. Yeah, no, I, and I agree with that because when I first got out of boot, I weighed 124 pounds, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah, was I ripped? Was I cut? Absolutely, okay. But I wasn't big, like I was boot camp strong, you know. Cause I, you've been doing all those sit-ups and all those pull-ups and all that. But as far as the endurance that you need to do that for a while at 129, there's no way. So when I got to about, um, I started doing, you know, anyway, I did martial arts anyway, but I got really into it and then I was doing fighting. I was fighting at about 148 pounds. That sounds so about right for your height. That was good fighting weight for me. Um, and uh, I was able to be very competitive and actually fight people a, a weight class above that if I needed to. But I would never be able to do that at 127 uh, pounds or whatever. Yep. It's just, it's just, there's just, uh, it is what it is. And it's different for everybody. Not everybody just five foot six, five foot seven, five foot eight needs to weigh. You know, 145 or 165 or 185 or 176, you know, but it's what it is for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And for me, when I, man, I was, I was, oof, oof, I was, I was something fierce. I was something fierce. I was, I was sprinting people that were actually sprinters in high school. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. You did what in high school? Are you sure? Because you kind of slow. <laughs> Yeah. And that was that was with asthma. Imagine if I didn't have asthma. Boy, I would have really told them people up. <laughs> <laughs> I always tell them, you better be glad the Lord, the Lord had pity on you guys. Because if he would have made me perfect, woo, you guys would have been in trouble. Right. But you know, that was just me making, you know, making light of my situation. Yes. You can't cry over it. But it is what it is, man. Yeah, let's see. Chat is awfully quiet. Everybody's pretty chill. Let's see. Let me check on YouTube. Sometimes. It... Oh, Rebel Comics is in the house. There is no law but the outlaw, he says. I knew somebody popped in. I just didn't know where. Let's see. There was a lot going on. Let's see. Tank Ferris said 510, about 190. That's a good weight for you, Tank. Shoot. Rob, uh, RBD TV, 100% Gaming. Hi, everyone. Let's see. Tank Ferry. Man, I missed out on a lot of people's chat. My relay is not working. I apologize. Let's see. Um, let's see. Rachel Lee says, you'll make it. Hail the digital bullpen, says Tank Ferry. <laughs> no relation. Hail Rachel Lee, no relation to my Lee. Uh, it, it's a Miranda said, it's not how expensive real and good foods are and how cheap the process nonsense is. That's correct. Uh, let's see. Tank Ferris, I hear John. I do, I do a, a low empty carb but high protein and intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting, wolf. I can't do that. Let's see. Rebel Comics says El Wapo. Let's see. Tank Ferris says meal for meal box food costs less or costs more due to having to eat more food. 
to get less nutrition. And RBDTV100 says, uh, hi, everyone. We're with that tank, 190. Yep. Simranya says, my husband once got down to what he should weigh for his weight. Ain't no lie. He looked like either a concentration camp cancer patient. He needs about 34 pounds over his normal. Uh, tank fair says, 180 is my deal. I'm moderately physically fit. Yeah, yeah. There's no law but the outlaw. All right, I'm caught up. I didn't realize all these people. That's why I got to flip between panels, man, because I never know who's popping in. My my chat relay for the uh, <clears throat> for restream doesn't always pick up everything, unfortunately. So there's that, and we're good. We're good. We're I've caught up. And Rebel Comics, he's in the house, and he's actually uh, got Niobe Lee is on Kickstarter, if I'm not mistaken. So, yay. Yay to that. Have we heard from Manny at all? Uh, not since the last time he was on the stream with us. Okay. Yeah, I didn't catch it Thursday. I didn't. I was just like, feeling like blah. It's all good, man. You know, I I keep streaming. You know, and and the doors are always open. You know how I do. I don't I don't stress it or sweat it. Plus, my little brother was like, "You want to play a game?" I was like, uh, "Okay, we'll play." Dude, every single time I've been trying, every single time I try to play a game this week, it it just hasn't been able to happen. There's a lot going on, and well, you already know. Oh yeah. There's way too much going on. Every single time I think, like I can sit down because you know when you game, you gotta. I I don't I can't just game for like an hour. You know it's got me two three. You know I need I need a, a good block of like at least two or three hours. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I got you. Yeah, if I can't get that man, I, I don't want to start. <laughs> Uh, Rice Lee says, got the balance and <laughs> get some more rest. Rock on all. Thanks, Rice, for dropping by. Appreciate you coming by. You know. Oh, check this out, too. I need to post this on uh, social media or something. We're actually going to be doing a limited print of uh, some of my smaller Pokemon guys for this mm -hmm. next con on metal. Nice. Yeah. And we, but one of my buddies, he works at a print shop local in this town, and he surprised me. He's like, "Dude, we do metal," and he took one off um, social media somewhere and printed it, and it looks amazing. Dude, so, yeah, he quoted me a price, and then his boss told him, "Well, that's not the price. It's actually this." But because you've already quoted him that price, and he's a friend, you can keep that price. Nice. Uh, I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> so all these little Pokemon ones I've been showcasing, they're, we're going to do a, about maybe three or four on metal each one and see how they do at this next con. Hey, can I ask you a question? Uh, yeah. it, um, what size um, is, a, is a good set, cause, uh, size on the prints? Because... You know, everyone does the 11 by 17s. And I, I, most of the prints, and almost all the prints I've ever done are that size. But, you know, you're starting to hear, um, at least over the last couple of years, people saying, well, oh, it's so big. I don't know if I have any space on my wall and stuff like that. Do you ever do a size that's smaller than that? that these moves? guys right here, well, if, you can see, if you can see my screen, these are five by seven. And those move pretty good. I, I, I sell out of Pokemon all the time. Okay. I, have to, I have to get Pokemon all the time. I, I have them in five by sevens. This year, we're actually stepping up the game, and I'm going to have them pre-sealed in bags, hanging for people to see them in a better wow. display instead of the way I've been doing it. So we're going to be doing a lot more stuff this year with things actually hanging for people to just be like, I want this one and this one and this one. That whenever they're sold out, I can either restock real quick on the hanger, or I can just be like, hey, it's gone. Sorry. Catch me on the next con. Or if there's a whole bunch you want to order, I can do a special order for you. Do you have a price range that you keep those in? Because I know it does vary from show to show. The five by sevens are I do um I do them just five bucks a piece. Wow. Or you get, or you can get three for ten. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Because the way I get them printed, I get them so many per page. And um on one single print on eleven by seventeen, you can get four on the page. 
So they'll only charge you for the one print and then they'll charge you for cutting them off or they'll just ship them to me and I'll cut them. I have a cutter myself. So, you know, one night and cut 200 posters out real quick while I'm watching the show and be done with it. Uh, This last place I went to, they were, because I used to get them cut at Staples and they would charge me per cut. Some pages had like 12 cuts. And I was like, oh my gosh. I mean, it was the same price of the print job was the same price as the cuts. I was like, no. Nah. This oh. last place I went to, they were like, uh, I told him, as long as you're not outrageous with cuts, you know, we can make a deal. And he was like, literally like, I forget what he said. It was like pretty much like a dollar a page. And I was like, oh, that's done. We can do that. Because the last place charged me pretty much like $4 a page. He's like, good God, no. I don't want to rip you off. <laughs> I said that's cool. That's fine. We'll just. He said, "Well, I can do it for that." I'm like, "No, no, 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 no. If you want, <laughs> you've already said a dollar. <laughs> we'll stick with that." Um, but these guys are not are five by seven, and then um, I don't know if I have any on here. Let me let me look. Um, I also do a few posters on nine by twelve, and Is that so, okay for you. They, I did a small print. I had a Mulan that was a uh, that I did. Um, that uh, I was just testing the waters to see if you know if anyone actually like. I did a Mulan where she was undressing in a sense, and we saw her from the back. And she, instead of having Mushu near her, she had a Mushu tattoo on her back. Oh, sweet! Yeah, it was a, say what? I remember that one. Yeah, I did. That was a. I did a competition uh, through Hot Topic, and I got disqualified for being too sexual or demeaning to women. That was the only qualifications really to be disqualified. So I got disqualified. So uh, I decided I was going to print it off and see how it went, and it's done pretty well. And I did a Mega Man uh, print on nine by twelve, and Mega Man sells like crazy. So it was a good deal. I sell those for ten bucks a piece. Hmm. So I saw my 11 by 17s for 10. And I might sell the 9 by 12s for 10 as well. And they move pretty well. The 9 by 7s, I'll do deals with them, you know, so many for whatever price. And then, like I said, the little bitty guys, they're constantly moving. That's why I'm always doing Pokemon because people all the time are like, oh, if he had this one, I'd buy it. I'm like, well, <laughs> catch me next con. It'll be here. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, like my wife, as soon as I get done with this one, because this is going to be a nine by twelve as well. I forgot that this one right here will be a nine by twelve that we're going to do. And oh, uh, which one, Pete? Can we see it? Yeah, hold on, Bob. <laughs> let me uh, let me get back on. Uh, boom. There you go. Yeah, okay. this. Yeah, this will be a nine by twelve. Um, that that uh, we'll sell for ten bucks as well. So. But yeah, I mean, I've I've heard lots of people have different variations of stuff, and I saw originals from five by seven, nine by twelve, eleven by fourteen, and eleven by seventeens. So I got all ranges of stuff. I won't go any higher than eleven by seventeen. That's as big as I'll go. But I've got some buddies that do bigger prints than that, and they outrageous. Hmm. Do you go to cons? Do you go to cons at all? Me? Yeah. Oh yeah, I did a lot. I haven't since I moved to Florida. Not really, because I don't really know a lot of the cons here. But when I was up in the Northeast, I did. I did a lot of New York cons, Massachusetts cons. I would go down to Baltimore every now and again, New Jersey. I'd stay up in there. I did a lot. Did a lot of cons up there. Okay. Um, Connecticut has a couple decent sized ones, so I would do those. Yeah, the, the, I've only been to Philadelphia, and of course, all sorts of Kentucky ones. And uh, I've been trying to get into Columbus. I've got a whole bunch of friends that are artists up there, and I'd love to team up with them and go to Columbus. Of course, I'm trying to get to North Carolina. Yeah, right. I've done. I've been invited to Tennessee, but I had to turn it down. And then uh, I've been to Florida once, one of the Florida cons. Yeah, 
I work in either 8 by 12 or 3 by 4 inch when I sketch these days. 3 by 4 I normally do 6 on a page, which makes it easier. Yeah, it does make it easier. Um, I mean, I did those trading cards for Upper Deck, and those are like, what, 2 by 3? So, mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, it's working in small medium is, is pretty tough, and I'll, I'll do those all in Copic, too. Gee. Yeah. <laughs> a few of the ones when if you buy them you look at the back and you're like there's there was already print on the back but you can't see it because all the copic up through <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like you know yeah uh, but if uh, another one showed up on ebay oh did it yeah uh nick fury i did nice yeah the the 80th uh 80th anniversary starting to show up online how much is that one going for now uh, I don't know. Let me get my phone. It's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, Steve yeah. Comics says that he is five backers away from 150 and $200 away from unlocking stretch goal number four with 12 days left. Time to back is now. I've been dropping the link on the on throughout the thing, but man, you know, as that's great news, Rebel. Uh, uh, you know, that is awesome news, buddy. Awesome news. Awesome news. All my money is going towards baby stuff. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, you're spending on, I'm sure it's more and more tightened these days. Man, look. All it is is I just got to, I got to change, you know, best comics, more baby stuff. <laughs> That's all it is. I'm just shifting what shifting the 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 narrative. That's it. That's all that is. Because yeah. the money I use for like stuff like this is just play money. You know what I mean? It's not like like yeah, oh me, no, I'm breaking the bank. Oh my gosh. Yeah, let me rephrase that. That card's gone. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Damn, there's only two more cards on, on eBay that are mine. Crazy. From the 2017s I did. You know, the sad part is they're the ones making the money off of you now. <laughs> yeah, know. You know, but at least they're comic book stores. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't feel so bad. Okay, okay. Marina says, once our tax refund comes in, I may get a dick lick run and finally get my super fine market nips plus a few other things. Yay. Dick lick. Yeah, and that Josh, yeah, Josh's, Josh's favorite site. I love Dick Blick. Yeah. You know, some yeah. guys like going to hardware stores and just looking at all the tools. Uh -huh. like Dick Blick and just drilling all over the markers and the, the paper and the, the the Copic nibs and everything. And I'm like, ooh, I need that. My wife's like, why don't you just order it and quit drooling? Right. Like, I'll, I'll, okay, baby. She's like, you got money in the art bank. Just go do it. Well, my wife says some crazy junk like that. Well, so, you know, it's always a fight. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I've been saving all this money from all the artwork we do. You know, I don't use it towards other bills other than getting into the next con or buying stuff. So, right. you know, she's like, you need that supply. Just do it. You need it. Yeah, not out. I say I've seen prices of it, but I can't hear. <laughs> oh no, it's restream the, the stream labs bot. I don't even use stream labs anymore. I don't even know. I gotta go, <laughs> I gotta go disable that stream labs. What did they get mad about Dick Blick? Yeah, he <laughs> got mad at Brian. <laughs> Called her out. <laughs> I gotta go, I gotta go change that setting. <laughs> Poor Marania. <laughs> Stupid bot. Stupid bot. Seen the praises of it, but I can't hear. For now on, just say DB and like put a wink, and then I'll just say Dick Blick because the robot won't get mad at me. <laughs> yeah, it won't get a, it won't get mad at Josh. You can say it because yeah, I know I've I've had a wrench on on his stream for a while, so yeah, it, it's I get it, I get it. Can't sing the praises of the Dick Blick. Heck, you two probably get mad at us for saying Dick Blick so much. Probably who knows? Oh, a kid's streaming anymore. He's talking about penises. No, 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 not that dick. 
you dick. <laughs> <laughs> things things have changed, man. Things have changed. We still try to be family friendly, but we're not. We're we're not. We're not. We're, still, as, we're trying to help sell art supplies, man. You know, we we're just not. Uh, we're not telling them to go to like you know adamandeve.com. You know, don't go there. You know, you're not gonna get the right dick flick there. Probably not. <laughs> or we watched that Super Bowl halftime show. One of you. Oh, that Super Bowl halftime show was crazy. I loved it. That was a that was a lot. It's been a while. That was a lot of booty shaking. I don't know, man, but that Shakira, that was yeah. something else. She was on point. I mean, Gino did her thing. I yeah, J Lo. I was into Shakira a little bit more for some reason. Yeah, my wife did too. My wife was all about that Shakira one. She was like, no, J Lo, you know. All I can say J Lo is lifting weights because she is cut for a 50 year old woman. Yeah, she is. It's all that bar work, I guess. Yeah, right. So, you've been singing praises since college. I hadn't heard a dick flick till I started doing this. And then I don't remember who got me on it. They were just, I may have been Googling it or someone else told me about it. And ever since then, I've been singing the praises too. So, it's just so cheap. I haven't checked it out, but I'll definitely check it out one of these days. Yeah. If you ever start doing like, like ink, like on paper, you know, mm-hmm. go, go get, get those Copic multi liners and you just get the ink. For like bills for cheaper and you can get better paper and it's a great website, man. I got multi liners somewhere. Just I'm pretty sure I got multi liners. Do you have the ones that are disposable or the ones that you can? I got, I got one that are in, one that is uh, refillable in three sets of disposables. Gotcha. Yeah, somebody for Christmas got me the disposables. You should see my face. I was just like, eh. <laughs> hey, look, they work. They yeah, just no. No, I don't like the disposables. I think they use cheap nibs on them. Yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe. Rain is in the house dropping a thumbs up. Appreciate it. Thank you for coming by. Oh, wait a minute. Somebody popped in the background of the digital bullpen. Tech Ferret. Tech Ferret dropped in. What's up, party Ooh. people? Who is this guy, man? I know, talking right? about dick flick, and he's like, I got to join in. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this guy? Ever since, ever since he went Hollywood, he's been too good for us. Right? I guess so. I don't know. It's he that work sounds, thing. He even sounds different. <laughs> <laughs> the laugh is the same, though. <laughs> What's up, Tank, man? How you What's doing? What's up, brother? Oh, man, I've just been working, working, working. <laughs> Yeah, how, how is it over there in the land of the angels? Oh, it's it's just busy. That's what it is. It's busy. Yeah, so was the move worth it? Uh that remains to be seen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's always it my question. Is. It is. Yeah, that's always my question. That they don't mind moving, but was it worth the move? Oh, it is, man. It is. I'm I'm actually back closer to where most of my industry contacts are for entertainment and stuff like that. And I've uh, kind of worked myself into a job where I'm helping businesses troubleshoot. Okay. Uh, yeah, go through. I do everything from like organizing their files and getting their statistics posted so everybody can see to even going into their storage units where the yeah technicians make a horrible mess of stuff. <laughs> He's even drawing, man. Tank is even drawing? What? I, I know. I know. I, and I'm like completely and totally shocked and flabbergasted. Well, thanks for coming to the digital bullpen. We're going to call it a night now. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> we actually got about, you know, 35 minutes before I got to, before I call it, unless, unless, you know, there's a uh, emergency, but we we looks like we're good. We're good, man. Shoot, man, it's been a while, man. Shoot, oh, brother, it's been too long. Yeah, yeah, man. We you you, you disappeared, and then Manny gave lost heart, and now Manny disappeared too. Uh oh. Now Manny had a 
problem with his computer and <laughs> oh, did that. Shoot. Okay. Well, shoot. Manny needs to talk to me because I am. I, I'm. I've got. I've got the hookups. But he's hey, got a new computer what? now. Yeah, he bought a new computer. Okay. Um, but now he's just like uh, he said he was going to take a little time, you know, because Skunk Girl, you know, monopolized so much of his time that you know he just wants to spend some time with the with the fam and take care of some errands and stuff that he neglected. So, you know, he'll eventually he'll come back. He was talking the other day. I was talking to him and he's like, man, I really miss streaming. So I'm, I'm going to come back to it. And, you know, for me, I'm always here. Awesomeness. I'm always here, you know, just chilling. Miranda says Tank is in the house. I keep telling you, the digital bullpen, man, is, it's, it's an eclectic group of people. We just, you never know when, when who or why, when, where, how they're going to show up. They just do. It's true. It's the invitations true. are always there. I never snub anybody. And people come at their leisure, unpressured, unfettered, unfiltered, uncensored. No, I'm just kidding. A little censored, but you know. No censor. No censor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. That's cool, man. I'm glad everything's going good for you, Tank, man. Are you working? Work is good. I am working. Work is getting better. Uh, I'm still got to, I got to do the hustle. You know, sometimes I just got to insert myself because you know, some of these businesses, man, they they don't realize how bad things are. You know, they right. don't realize, you know, just how messed up their house is. They're just like, oh, we're suffering. We don't know why. It's like, well, that's why you're hiring me. <laughs> I hear you. So you working on uh, Apple Zero? I am. This is page four. So just doing breakdowns right now, taking my thumbnails and uh, seeing that they uh, they work and adjusting them as needed. Right, right, right. Just doing some uh, some base scribbles right now. This this scene takes place inside the net. Uh, we can't see anything but like uh, squares. But I'm I'm yep. your word on it. <laughs> like there's a blank piece of paper with squares on it, and it says. Yep. He takes in the net. I, hey, I'm gonna take your word for it. I believe you, brother. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, it's yeah, it's one of those things. <laughs> that blue line is really blue because I can't see a doggone thing. No, nah, it's fine. That's that's all there is. I came in with a with a blank page and figured I would okay. share with people as I do it. No worries, man. That's what we like. The press is in the chat somewhere. He's in the chat. What's up, Manny? What's up, Manny? Everybody's coming out the woodwork today. All the all the A listers are are out today. What's going on, man? Well, we heard that this might want to be might be one of your last streams for a little while. So it may be. It, it, it may be for a little while. Uh oh. Yeah, for a little while. Till till things settle in. What you got yeah. settling in? Well, you know. I got the, the new addition to the family. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, congratulations, brother. Thanks, thanks, thanks. This is it. This is the last. Uh, this is the last. No, it's not. You just quit. Your wife. No, no, no. no she this is the last week for this. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. She's going to want another one. It ain't going to be the last kid. Uh, Green Fang XYC says, pops out the woodwork. What's going on, Green Fang? All right. Shoot, I'm too old, bro. You are, but she's not. Yeah, think about it, man. It's not about me or her. It's all about her. It's about <laughs> fairness to that kid, having a father all the way through. Yeah. That's what you get for marry a pretty young thing, bro. Exactly. You know. Well, I mean, what was I supposed to do? <laughs> you don't give her another kid. Uh, you know, as I supposed to do, you know, the opportunity was there. I took my shot. You know? I mean, fortunately, she. Yeah. She yeah. Uh, was convinced by. By my charm and great looks. <laughs> <And he's got laughs> <rap. laughs> Got my charming great looks, because that's about all I got left. She figured, well, he's all right, I guess. 
Why not? You know, why not? You know, she saw him and said, you know what? I bet we could have really cute kids. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> See, what guy saying, what's up? Uh, Black Leaker said, hey, there, what are you all up to? We just uh, sitting here drawing, you know, let me, uh, let me aguapify it a little bit because there's a lot going on. There we go. We're drawing. Everybody's kind of drawing. We got Josh Chris doing a, doing a poster for the Comic Con. We got a Wapo doing a book for Gods and Soldiers. Yeah. <laughs> the bad boy. You know, we don't know if it's going to be in color or black and white. Man, I don't know. I'm debating. You know, stop putting so much ink, ink work into it. It's like, do I? Don't I? The other thing that I was thinking, and maybe I can bounce this off you guys out there, is um, I don't know if you guys picked up the um, the first book that um, your boy Zach put out. The um, uh, what the heck was the name? And I'm drawing a blank on it. Um, help me out. Don't know. Records. What is it? Jawbreakers? No, no. It's the other one that takes place like in Mexico or something like that. Um, oh, I got um, that book. It's um, give me a second. I don't remember the name of it. I hate when this happens. I can't freaking like. I know it, but I can't remember the names. Yeah. Um, hey. So um, Black Liquor says the black the Gossip Soldiers looks pretty good. Cesar, tell them tell them where they can find you. In case they're interested in in ever backing that project, if it ever comes out, I should, yeah. which, I'm not saying if I know it will. It's but. gonna come out, yeah. So obviously, on uh, you can find me on Twitter at Caesar Feliciano. Um, I have a YouTube channel, El Guapo Comics. You can please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'm gonna start posting there at some point pretty soon again. Um, and then you can find me on Instagram at the Art of Caesar Feliciano. Uh, also, I have a Facebook page, The Art of Caesar Feliciano. You can check that out. But um, and then obviously here, whenever I can hop on, I don't hop on every time, but when I can, I hop on. But um, Gods and Soldiers gonna be gonna be coming out. Uh, e actually has the very first version of that. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm remastering the pages to um, because one of the things I noticed is that um. Some of the panels didn't look uh, consistent in like the way they were inked and stuff like that. Maybe the way they were drawn. And so um, from the time that had come out to where I'm at now, I know that I've gotten better. So I want to kind of um, even everything out and then put it out. They're going to be making a few changes. Not too much. It's pretty much going to be the same um, story. Uh, I'm going to be adding a couple of pages and then, um, you know, just different refreshed inks and stuff like that. Um, right now it's black and white. I may be doing it color, um, but definitely look for that. And one of the things I wanted to ask the guys here, uh, and even people in the chat, um, did you find out the name of that book? Dang, I'm freaking joining. Iron Sights. Miranda got it. What is it? Iron Sights. That's it, Iron Sight. I think in the first book he had done monochrome coloring. Yeah. And so one of the things that I'm going with on this book is that um uh kind of think, you know, hearkening back to uh uh the comics, uh the Tijuana style comics, Mexican comics, uh and the Italian comics that had like that sepia tone to it. I was thinking about doing something like a sepia tone wash over everything, over the pages to kind of give it some color. Um, colors are expensive and uh, I can color, but you know, I just, I don't know if I want to get all into that because it just makes the process a lot longer. Um, and I want this to kind of be like a throwback kind of book because basically it has like, uh, you know, an Indiana Jones type of vibe to it. Um, some like that adventure story kind of aspects like Doc Savage. Uh, 
and that sort of thing. Is it Doc Savage that I'm thinking? Yeah, Doc Savage. Um, kind of like that pulpy feel to it. Um, and so I don't know if I want to do all that computer uh, coloring. I did get um, a cover done for it, uh, and that is full color. Maybe I can – you guys saw it, right, E? Yeah, I saw it. This looks yeah, good. I'm going to go ahead and see. I'll just post it here real quick. Um, uh, maybe you guys can give me a suggestion here because I, I, I have this – here with the uh, with the title, I recolored this, so I don't know. I don't know. I got some people telling me that that looks a little bit too dark. Maybe we need to pop that out a little bit more. But this is the colored uh, cover um, done by Mohammed Akbadi. I think he did a great job. Um, but um, yeah, so I just said a lot there. So any any suggestions on on or, or thoughts? On any of that? Yeah, so I just said a lot there, so any, any suggestions? I mean, it, it looks amazing. The color is, is just, it pops, man. I love it. I saw when you posted the other day, and I thought it looked amazing. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I mean, it was good to me, yeah. man. You know, I'm colorblind, so, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take that with a bit of salt, you know. Like, uh, you know, it looks good to me, but, you know, like, <laughs> It's a beautiful you know, great wash drawing. <laughs> yeah, it's funny that you mentioned that sepia because uh the guy who did uh Iron Sides is from Spain, the artist. So he, he did it in traditional European style comic. You know, Green Fang says he likes it. Sweet. So um I think everybody likes him, and I think it's very nice. Yeah, Man, I, I like what he did with it. Um but yeah, so that'll be that'll be the cover uh, to the book. So the cover is gonna be in color, and the book is gonna be black and white. Yeah, perhaps. Like I said, I'm, I am playing around with the thought of, you know, doing that sepia tone maybe across the whole book. Um, kind of see how that would look, you know. Yeah. See, Maranya said I miss working in brown inks. I loved doing etching prints and sepia ink in college, but brown drawing ink is criminally expensive. Yeah. Any of that colored ink is expensive. It's a whole different process. It's a whole new world. Mm, none of that. <laughs> none of that. None of that. It's a whole new world. Anyway, <clears throat> I digress. I'm getting my dad's off. Oh my goodness. Y'all like my Mark White impression? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what that was? <laughs> I know. Is that what it was? It was Mark White. <laughs> okay. I, you know, I, I call him. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, man. So we got to, yeah. Keep experimenting. You'll get there. Yeah. Exper you know, we're playing around, playing around. But uh, yeah, man. I, it looks good. It looks good. I do have not only do I have an the original, but I, I also got some uh, copies of the comic book to practice inking on somewhere in the house. I, I do got it. I did mess it up a little bit, but hey, hey it is what it is. Oh, it is what it is. We're not gonna talk about that. Nope. It's and like the first and second rule of that. We don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. Yeah. That's the first rule of Jar Club? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about that. We're not bringing, we're not bringing all, we're not bringing that into light. <laughs> we're not bringing that into light. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> yeah. So is the family adjusting to uh to the new digs tank? They they are. I am 
unfortunately, I am located many miles away from them as they're out in the high desert because that's where it's cheap right? to, to afford a place big enough for them, and uh, which is great. You know, it's a, definitely an upgrade from the from the previous place. Mm. Um, I think anything's an upgrade from where you were before. Yeah. yeah nice as, much as much as I loved that, uh, the, the shipwright architecture of the uh, previous building we were living in, it, uh, it did not have, uh, the, the landlord did not take care of that place. We, we left it in better condition than when we arrived, and it was in rough condition. Yeah. I, you know, I haven't even gone to that to that state since I've been here and it's like only like 150 200 miles away <laughs> right <laughs> I'm not going there mm -mm. no there's not much of a reason to do so I was like no nope, no nope. someone was telling me oh you should go there they got some kind of chocolate thing or something I don't know what they were talking about and I was like no yeah, but it has Portland <laughs> like, uh, so, no, I'm gonna miss that uh, I apologize I'm not driving there for that you know, they got crazy people there. Yeah. <laughs> they got crazy people there, man. Like, yeah, I'm not going there. You know? No, yeah, sir. It's no, a whole other animal. Hmm? It's a whole nother animal over there. Oh, my goodness. A lot, of hate. A lot of hate, man. Unnecessary. Unnecessary hate. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's for certain. Yeah. I was like, no. Like as soon as I get a chance to get back to the East Coast, I'm blowing this pop stand. <laughs> I'm out of here. But leave it. Can I ask, would you guys use 3D models to speed up your workflow? Uh, I wouldn't even know how to use the 3D model. Uh, sometimes. How about, no. about like a 3D model as a as a like a mannequin or because yeah, I got one of those. I got model hands. I got the little. Flexible mannequin dog thingy, you know. Yeah, they got the mannequin you're using Clip Studio, right? I got that, uh, but I don't use it. But I got the one like the one that you can pose and make it look like it's flying. You could, you know, sitting. Yeah. It's a pretty cool little mannequin, man. But the one on Clip Studio, I, I tried to use it, but um, for the genre that we're in, they're kind of puny. Yeah, it's it's they're all right for using the, it's like stick figures for like getting your gest gesture gesture down and, and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, kind of I, yeah, you, you really uh, to be honest with you, I mean those things they're, they're okay for an aid, but you know, you're better off just learning how yep. to do it because there's just certain positions that you can't quite get, you know. Uh, and you would have to upgrade to like a seriously high manipulating mannequin. And, you know, by the time you spend the money, then you're posing the handcuffs. You might as well just figure out how to draw it and you know, save yourself the time. And plus, you would have learned something. And then you can yeah. put the hand however you want to, you know, yep. or the foot or whatever it is that you're that, that you need to work on, you know. <laughs> but there you go. And let's see. Mariah says $15 for three ounces of brown ink versus 17 for a quart of black ink. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't I don't mess with any of that stuff, man. It makes no sense in my with my current situation. What the world just happened? Yeah, but uh, yeah, 3D models, I, I don't know. If you're talking about the ones that come in Clip Studio, uh, nah. Nah, I don't I don't get involved with it. I just don't find it that easy to work with. And it's supposed to be a tool, and I don't know. But hey, some people use it. Um, and some people use it because it 
it snaps into the perspective grids. If you use a perspective grid in Clip Studio and you use their mannequin and you put it in, it snaps into the perspective grid automatically. So that makes it easier to draw a perspective. But I'm not I'm not at that level yet. I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. And then Yeah. No. Uh, still, it's easier to just eyeball it. Yeah, even like with figures and stuff, because you can put a figure on a plane, okay, like so. And then if you can learn how to draw this shape, which is basically a beam, you can put a, you can do whatever, because you just, you're just pinching it. For instance, if you want to do a, uh, a shape where the figure is bending forward like like so and then you can just you add your legs here arms you can make the the beam flow back this way all right here goes your arms your legs you can do like this is this right here learning how to draw the beam allows you to bend that however you need to so you can position your figure however you want to it's just like that one little thing uh, just lost my computer here <laughs> that's what happened just, just like that <laughs> just like that and i gotta recalibrate and the whole night Oh out. man, please remember that recalibration issue I had. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I says, man, Guapa made a drawing of a glass with drink and ice. Interesting. I have trouble doing those transparencies in pen and ink. <laughs> man, Guapa is the is the is the bomb diggity, man. Don't sleep on the old old former Marine, man. Just just because he's sitting there old and gray. The man's got wisdom, years of wisdom. So here's what happens, like when I recalibrate, I get this thick line that I can't, it won't take pressure. So I got to back all the way out and restart my computer. Doesn't that suck? Oh, yeah. I have similar issues. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. Although and it's, it's usually Clip Studio that's giving me the issues, not Photoshop. Well, you know what, it's, I never had this problem when I had a wake up. It only happens with XP Pen. Yeah, this only have yeah, yeah. I only have this problem with the, the the tablet I'm working with. But you can see, I don't have any problems like that with my my XP Pen. What's that? I have an XP Pen Pro. Do you uh, have the same problem? No. Dude. Now what I what I'll have is the whole daggum uh, pen won't function. I have to unplug the pen from the computer. This little dongle in the back, yeah, connects to the screen. I have to unplug that to get it to work sometimes. Jeez. Other than that, now I don't have a, a pressure issue. Yeah, no, I mean I, I'm, I'm done. I can't draw anymore. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this page, this page is officially completely inked. So at least I got done. Uh, excuse me. Oh my lord! <laughs> I know it's crazy. Hey, page is done. All right, see the, here we go. <laughs> Those things happen, man. Can't yeah. get mad. I mean, I have I have a similar issue with mine. Um, just you know what happened? All I did was connect a extra monitor to the computer, and I lost all kind of calibration. Oh, dude, yes. I yeah, like, no, I had that issue. <laughs> And I couldn't get it to recalibrate. I was like, no, no, this is not good. I was like, man, this is no, this is not good, man. This is not good. She says, Mr. Ryan says, the only problems I have is when my hands get sore or tired. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. I hear you, Ryan. <laughs> That's you're doing it all right. <laughs> yeah, you you you're you're smarter than us. Both show. Yeah, see, she what what we save in time, she saves in frustration. Right. Which saves time, 
So ultimately, we're probably evening out. I mean, we're probably not. She, we're not doing any better than her just doing traditional. Uh, Blacklist says he has a UG graphics tablet. Yeah, I was thinking the same uh, same thing. I was like, I wonder. I've never had a Wacom, so I was like, Wacom has the same issue. I've never had that issue with Wacom ever, never ever. Team Rocket, go! Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to let the wife take a look at these inks before I start putting... Well, I'll probably put some colors on certain characters, but I'll let her make sure they, um, uh, this hand, since I totally redesigned this hands over here, if she likes those. Right. Mariah right. says, no, I want to do digital. Digital is fun. It is. And you, you use it. And if you use the tools correctly. The only, the only problem... Um, and it's funny because, uh, Rich, do you guys uh, follow Richard Friend on YouTube? No. So he's a, he's a good guy. He talks a lot about art and stuff and, you know, like how to, he does like, he's done a, a bunch of videos like, you know, uh, examining different artists and their storytelling style and stuff like that. He's like a really, he's like a smart guy. He's been inking for ages and he's a good artist on, in his own right and everything. Um, and we're talking about like uh, digital, um, digital inking, uh, um, and we and I think at the time he was uh, doing like a, like a checking out you know Jason Pearson's art, and uh, he was noticing that in certain areas, it's a little, um, it looked almost, it looked so black that it almost didn't look right, and he said that's probably that's one of the it's probably digitally inked. And that's one of the things with digital ink that the color is so flat. I mean, it's because it, it fills every single void that it, um, it it almost when you print it, it almost looks a little off. Um, like when you darken uh, pages that you hand hand inked, you know, you can adjust the levels and stuff, and for you still maintain some of that quality of the marks to a certain sense. Um, it doesn't, I, and, I, and I think as I was looking at, at you know, things that I've inked in, in digital, I kind of saw what he was talking about. Uh, I'm trying to really kind of really get to understand specifically what he's talking about. But I think I know what he, what he means about the density of the black. Right. So, I don't know. I'm into geeky little nerdy stuff like that, wanting to know stuff. So, uh, so no, anybody with that. When, uh, when you do digitals, you can definitely get a deeper, deeper black. Um, it, it's not, how do I, all right. So, you know, when you do big black areas with, with either a brush or with a thick uh, marker. Yeah. It's never solid black. You get like some gray areas, you know, or you yeah. You can see the marker marks. You know what I'm saying? Like exactly. The stroke marks from the marker. So it's never a even all the way through nice flat black. So, but when you do it with digital, you don't get that. You know, if it's a solid black, it's just gonna be solid black. You know what I mean? Right. Unless you create a brush that mimics that style. But for the most part, you use the fill tool. Boom. There is no brush strokes. No. No. Uh, no variations in the black. You know, like, like uh, Mike Miller did a piece a long time ago, and I showed it to Josh, and I was like, "Man, them, I don't know what kind of ink he was using, but his blacks look weird to me." You know what I'm saying? And he's an amazing artist, but I was just saying that I don't know what ink he used, but for some reason the blacks wasn't weren't looking, you know, they weren't looking deep black. You know what I'm saying? And because uh, the inks also make a difference as well. It's not, you know, it, there's some good inks that that that'll make everything look nice, nice and black and even, but still you can see some of that brush strokes and there's some inks that, you know, you'll get variations of, you know, gray to black when you're, when you're coloring in, you know what I mean? So, yeah. so that's, I guess that's what he was trying to say, you know, because on a digital, you don't get that. Cause even if you like do strokes, 
<laughs> if it overlaps, it's the same black. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. I, I guess that's what he was getting at. I, I don't know. You know, I believe, uh, see, some black inks will look off when they're thinned down. I believe it's the amount of shellac in the ink when it's produced. Yeah, I mean, some inks are better than others for sure. For sure. Uh, I'm not even going to argue that point. Um, but it's just like I said, sometimes drawings that have a lot of black, if, if uh, for some reason, depending on what you're using, it just it just don't look right. But it's still a good drawing, you know. I ain't taking nothing away. Shoot. Just looked off to me. Just a little bit. Oh, 845, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Yeah, you know, I don't I don't I only stream for two hours at a time. You know, I don't want. I don't want people mad at me. <laughs> I try to. I'm trying to live a, a, a simple uh, life, you know, without too much stress or drama. Let's see what Tank Ferry is working on. Lots of blue inks. Yeah, just putting in some roughs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just getting things kind of sorted. So once that's sorted on this page, I'll move on to the next page and just work layer by layer. I am mad at that. That way it all comes out looking good and consistent. Consistency is good. Yeah, yeah, it's got to be consistent. I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be doing the the pencils and breakdowns and whatnot on the computer, but then I'm gonna be printing them out, so I can uh, do the inks analog because I have not been able to replicate the inking style that I market tested it. I market tested. <laughs> uh, I haven't been able to replicate that digitally. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's just uh, it's just a little weirdness. And I'm sure it has nothing to do with the tools. It's probably just my <coughs> used to working with some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, people people can make, uh, if, if you're gifted enough to make brushes, you know, you probably make a brush that'll do what you want it to do. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, like the, the standard marker for the um, Cliff Studio. Mm-hmm is essentially what I'm using. You know, I'm going to be inking with Copic multiliners. But uh, I don't know. There's something about the organicness of it being there in front of me. And I'm like, okay, well, next I'm going to go grab this real quick. And it's I, I know exactly what my presets are. You know, I was like, okay, I'm going to use a 0.2 millimeter for this. I'm going to use a 0.3 millimeter for that. I'm going to use a right. you know, half millimeter for this other thing over here. Cool. Now to blot it all in and get dark, whatnot. I got you, man. It's just familiarity. I'm old. Hey, man, there's a whole bunch of us here that are old, <laughs> except for Josh. Josh. Josh is young. That's what right. are we using to talk to each other? Stream yards. <laughs> <laughs> We use a StreamYard. StreamYard does everything. All you do is log into StreamYard. I send the link out to them. They join me on the StreamYard, and then it brings in the audio and video. That, that's all we're using, Black Liquid StreamYard. <laughs> no Discord, no Hangouts, nothing complicated. Just StreamYard. You, uh, you can just look it up, Google StreamYard, and uh, you'll see. Right. And then it then allows us to stream together, and you know, we call it digital bullpen because we get it's like an art bullpen. You know, we get a whole bunch of people in here, and we do what we do. All right. I'm going to go ahead and call it a night, gentlemen. I don't want to get too far into this, and then my wife be like, "I don't like it," so I'm going to let her take <laughs> what I've done, and 
And then, yeah, and then we can go from there. And then if I get this done, I don't know, there may be one more print I do before Comic-Con. So, but I am out, guys. You all have a good night. All right, man. Thank you. Bro. I will see you all later. Later, bud, man. Have a good one. You too. And there we have it. Uh, let's go here. No, let's go here. Yep. Yep, that's what we're using in the stream yard. Before we used to use Google Hangouts. <laughs> uh, you know, a little bit of everything, but stream yards used to be the easiest one. Yeah. I guess we could use Discord one day, but why? There's still the, there's the whole issue of sharing the screen. And that's why we like StreamYard. So we could screen share and all that good stuff. You know? Spread the love. Right. El amore. That looks like those guys got exploded up pretty good. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. They're, um, you know, terrorists. Terrorists, they, they, you know. Yeah, I'm going to keep my comments to myself, but yeah. <laughs> well, you know what they yeah. say, the only good terrorist is a dead one. Yeah. That's it. There goes, there goes your <laughs> – you won't be able to monetize the stream now. That's right. right. I'm Ever. not monetized anyway, and just, just – just for YouTube to understand, everybody on, on this on this panel has served, so you can't get mad at us for having feelings that that we uh, earned through uh, experiences. So there's that. There's we paid that. for that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We 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 were in places that people don't want to go. No, nope. sadly, because you know if we we're allowed to finish our job. Uh, they would be places that you would love to go because they're so rich in culture and history. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But I digress. I digress. Yes, of course. I digress. I do a lot of digressing. <laughs> <laughs> I do a lot of digressing. Where'd Manny go? Is he eaten by wildebeests? Uh he was on the he was on the chat, but um I don't yeah. know. No. You know, he he drops in, he gives his love and support, you know, and Whatever he's probably listening. So you'll probably pop in now that he hears his name. Listening and judging. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> let's, Man, see, uh, let's see. Brian says, "I believe." Oh, you used to use Pelican Ink, but I highly recommend Blick Black Cat. I prefer well seasoned and mature to old, <laughs> winky face. And she says, "Take care, to Josh." Yeah. Josh is a good kid, man. I like the Josh. Not just any kid. He's the Cobra kid. kid. <laughs> <laughs> as much as he despises that nickname, it's his. That's, it's his. He's stuck with he that one. Ownership of that, man. Just completely. Yeah, he, he needs to. He doesn't like it because of how he got it, but he's got it. Yeah, I think it works. I think it works too. Josh, the Copic kid. Am I missing a page? The if you're missing a page, I would know, to be honest with you. No, I, I'm sorry. I was kind of talking out loud. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I can pull the book out. You want me to get my book out the shelf? Click through to let you know you're missing a page. Yeah, y'all weren't supposed to hear that comment. <laughs> Oh my lord. I have way too much fun with you guys, man. <laughs> I have way too much fun. That's a, a, a very oh god, yeah, I have this in a freaking page. What the heck? What the heck is page three? I need to get Josh on. They're a really marker train. They're really good and way cheaper than Copics, and they can be filled with any ink except pearlescent colors. Hmm. But then he wouldn't be the Copic kid. 
It's and true. then, then, then what we're we gonna call them? Can't call them Dale, Dale, Dale or Brownie. You know that doesn't, you know, doesn't make sense. But the Kobe kid, man, Kobe kid is forever. It's para siempre. There ain't no kid but the Kobe kid. Ain't no party like the Kobe party. Because if Kobe party don't stop, there you go. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. never mind. I know what happened to Pace to me. Uh, as long as you know. The important thing is that you know. Yeah. You know, and, and because you're you're the one that has to know. <laughs> I don't know. That's don't, page two and three. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I don't know. Yeah, it was missing because it was a double page spread, that's why. Oh, you can't have a double page spread with a missing page, man. No, I know. I <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, what the heck happened? I just got a spread. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> that stupid ERT is always making dumb jokes. I need to, need to chill with that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that ERT. You're, cutting in, you're cutting into the uh the, the baby uh the baby gift. Actually, oh, I'm, not no! gonna, I'm not gonna hold your child accountable for your mess ups. No, man, look, we have bought a whole bunch of stuff. Don't worry. Theo says I does do stuff. It's ridiculous the amount of stuff I've bought. Uh, I hear you, bro. We bought, because you know, I didn't do it all by myself, but it's ridiculous, bro. The amount of stuff. And the amount of stuff yet to be bought. Unfortunately. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. But it is what it is, man. I'm happy. You know. Kid, you know, it is what it is. Like I said, we'll we'll make it happen. We will make it happen. Holy frijoles, even in black and white, that looks awesome. Colors would make that spread pop. See, why are people doing this to me, man? I'm like so torn. Oh, man, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, man. I know, but people love their colors, man. Well, colors make comic book pop, man. I know. Make I'm pop. Ring for that. Ah. <sighs> I'll send you a link. I'll send you somebody else that does colors that might be cheaper. Yeah, because I like Muhammad, but that dude is expensive. That may be a little bit cheaper. And, you know, not for nothing. I know that he's busy. I'm just thankful he was able to, to you know, squeeze that, that in. But I'm telling you, I would love to use him, like, for a whole book. But I don't know. I think he that might be priced a little bit out of my range. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, plus, you know, we don't want you cutting into the baby gift. Yeah, don't cut into the baby gift money. So, <laughs> listen, I'm fair. I pay. All right. I pay well. <laughs> People that work for me, I, I pay that. Okay. Uh, I just need someone that can, you know, I'm looking for a certain standard, you know. Um, Standards are good. And, uh, you know, I know there's a lot of people that have a, a lot of desire, but, um, you know, uh, coloring on my stuff, uh, you know, I really can't have someone that is, you know, like just starting out. I know they mean well, you know, and every once in a while I'll have them do like a small print or something like that just to kind of help them out. But. Right. For a book that I'm going to be putting out to the masses, I really need someone that, you know, understands what they're doing. And I think people understand that. It's not I'm not cutting on anyone. I'm just keeping it real. Right now, you, your reputation is only as good as your last artwork. That's yeah. correct. You know, if if you start not putting out decent stuff, people are like, ah, he's slipping. 
And I've been given the two minute warning, which is now a one minute warning. So Cesar Feliciano, would you like to tell people where you can be found? Absolutely. So you can find me on uh, Twitter. You can find me at uh, Instagram at the art of Cesar Feliciano on Twitter at Cesar Feliciano. You go to my Facebook page, the art of Cesar Feliciano. Uh, also look for me on the uh, ERT's live stream and please go to my channel, El Guapo Comics, uh, where I do have some videos already there. Please sign up. I'm going to be posting again pretty soon here. Probably once E is uh, on hiatus, I'll probably have to uh, start streaming. But uh, by all means, check that out. Thanks a lot. And look for uh, Red Tent coming soon. Chango is going to be fulfilling soon. And uh, then we got Gods and Soldiers coming up. And also look for the 10-page preview. Sign up for the Johnny's Law on Indiegogo, and you get the free 10-page uh preview that I drew for uh, Delta Comics over there. Nice, oh, awesome. nice. And Mr. Uh, Tank Ferret. <laughs> hey, there's a skunk girl. Yes. Oh, nice. There's a skunk girl. <laughs> um, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at forward slash Tank Ferret Art. And uh, if you look carefully, you can find me uh, skulking the streets of Los Angeles looking for money. <laughs> We'll draw for food. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> and of course, my name is EORTs. I am the humble host of this channel and part of the uh, famous or infamous digital bullpen, however you want to look at it. Uh, we stream Mondays and Thursdays, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, or if you much prefer West Coast time, 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, which is the same time, just two different time zones. You know, one sounds better than the other. Uh, you can find me here, of course, on the ERTs, and you can find me on Facebook and Instagram as ERTs Arts, and you can also find me on Twitter as CuddleBlind underscore E. Um, I hope everybody has a good evening. God bless, and good night. Good night. Bye-bye. <laughs>